95.7 The Hog. It's the Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh and SR Parat bringing us great flavors. Ninety-five-seven, the Hog, Daytona's rock station. Hey, it's Friday happy hour. We survived St. Patty's Day, and it's time now for a morning Hog Brew review. Riggs, intern Steve, and Josh from SR Parad. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. All right. How you doing? You yeah. survived is a strong word. But bike week survived, and then you got to get back into St. Patty's Day, and then here yep. you are. So they're at Beach Street all night long, all day long, and then all night long. I don't blame you. And I got to tell you, we were out there too, mixing it up. What we did just in case, Steve made like a cardboard Josh just to put in your chair, just mm-hmm. in case you couldn't make it. Yeah. One. Yeah. And I appreciate that. that. Yeah. It, honestly, it was not a good lightness. I figure a little bit of hair of the dog. Yeah. Just finish what I started yeah. anyway. Well, it's good. I'm glad you brought beers for us. We're ready for more. Yeah. So I figure we can part. Party through the weekend with St. Patrick's. Good idea. Right? Yep. You There's got no reason game. to stop. Yeah. Sure. Don't stop. Let's Don't be do a quitter. It. Right. I'm still wearing green, so we're good to go. Come on, so my you just can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Okay. All right. So I figure let's, like I said, continue last night. We're going to start off with Guinness uh, Draft Stout. All right. Okay. In the can. Little taste mm. of Ireland. Okay. Right. So it's a 14.9 ounce can. All right. Ooh. But I want you to listen to this one. How'd they it. come okay. up with that? Yeah, let me turn this music down. Oh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> That's not special effects, see, bro. See something a little interesting That's there? Yes, I right do. I so, know what that is. Tell us. Did, do you know what it is? I know what it is. All right, I want to. I want to hear you. It's the uh, it's the CO two car nitrous cartridge. Right? That's correct. It's so it's called inside a, the can. A widget. Widget. I don't like that term. Makes me think of widgets. <laughs> they, don't they have those on your phone? Whoop. No, that's different. Uh, agree. Yeah. Yes. If, if your phone <laughs> right. makes that sound, you're doing. But it if wrong. you watch the the sample i just poured there it'll actually do something called cascading okay which is where all that the head on the the beer will start to slowly come down it's really cool to watch and that's what kind of gives guinness its classic smooth flavor is that nitrogen yeah and they figured out how to do that with a can so t oh. Max gonna get really uh, he's gonna get in tight with you here with the video mm. we're gonna find we're gonna watch this happen not the optimum mm. uh, pouring vessel to do it in but you can yeah. see it just do the work i mean it's mad just beer magic is what it is it, it, it is so what they do is they, they put a little bit of nitrous in, inside of the can um, as they seal it. But there is also a little plastic uh, device, which they call a widget. Yeah. So that nitrogen finds its way inside of that device. And when you open it back up, the nitrogen finds its way out. I love and it. so it mixes back up with the beer, mm. nitrogenizes it, and uh, gives it that smooth, creamy... I mean, that's honest, quite yes. frankly, that's to me, that's mm. beer rocket science. Because who would have ever thought that you could do that in a can? Oh, it took them quite a few different revisions. They did all kinds of different things trying to figure out how to make it happen. Right. And this is where they landed. And I think they nailed yeah. that same, you know, just like pouring it off the draft line. That's right. My, uh, the moon landing and this landing. Those are my two favorites. However, they spell it D-R-A-U-G-H-T instead of... Yeah, you know, I never understood that. I, I still don't. I don't, I don't... We had a hot debate before yeah, the show yeah. this morning, Josh, about so that. So it's a, it's a drought Oof. beer? Yeah, he's very unhappy Still about, draft. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. how you pronounce it, still draft. <sighs> um, you lived in another country. You know they have weird spellings of things. Yeah, right? like Kalur. Right. See? So... I'm furious about the that. The thing about Guinness is... For a lot of people that aren't into beer necessarily, they yeah. see the color of Guinness and they see the head on it and stuff, and they're afraid of it. Okay. They think it's a super heavy, thick beer. Right. And I've heard people say it's like drinking bre- uh, bread in a glass. Okay. That is not the case. No. Guinness, you know, that smoothness is in there, but it is a thinner beer. Uh, it's 125 calories. Oh, it's nothing. They, and the, the carb count is much lower than a lot of your other beers out there. Really? It is an easy-to-drink beer. Give it a shot. Why is it so mistaken like that? Yeah. What people, because it just it, color? it's that color profile. Yeah. It yeah. scares people off. They're used to seeing a light beer being a light color, yeah. whereas this is just has tons of roasted malt. Uh, but it's complex flavor as well. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it's easy drinking beer. I prefer this over a lot of stuff out there. So easy, I already drank all mine. <laughs> <laughs> Steve just made it simple right there. <laughs> Was that a call Gone. for the next beer? I guess Hell it is. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Please push Do it. Anybody. So you may have heard of this one. It's kind of making a, a small resurgence out there. Okay. This is George Killian's Irish Red. Oh, oh yes. Oh. I remember. I remember Dude, all Dude, I haven't goodness. had one of these in forever. Yeah. 
So like this a is a long time. So the last the Guinness we just had is actually 4.1% ABV. So really? again, the ABV is low as well. Wow. You can slam those all day long. All day. And you're not going to be filled up and, you know, you're still going to get what you need to get done. I, I like thought that. it was more than that. No. Exactly. No, Steve. It's the appearance of the beer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, Unless you're adding alcohol rogue there, Steve. It's not more okay. than that. All right. All right. Ooh. Now, now I remember Ooh. Uh, going yeah, that one looks frequenting red. a uh, a tavern in Athens, Georgia, where we used to get George Killian's Red in the um, in a fishbowl. Oh goodness! Right? And it was a buck fifty back in my day. Oh yes. Uh, they, you know, you're looking for low. Haven't had one right? of these in a while. Ooh. So you get a lot of caramel flavor. Yes. Up front, a little bit of hot bitterness, not much. Oh, um, our oh. next beer will give us that hop flavor we're looking for okay. um and a lot of that sweet maltiness on the background yeah as well it's just great it's it's, it's, it's super smooth yeah now, i love is, irish beer. And this has got more octane than the uh than the guinness they do 5.4 percent. okay oh there so look out yeah be careful so right up there you know a little bit over yeah. your your regular domestic beer and much more than a regular guinness um but again easy drinking still tons of flavor yeah uh something i enjoy very much mm. irish reds yes. and these stouts and you're right. If you made it through a St. Paddy's Day and you didn't have one of these, you made a mistake. You can do it over, though. It's fine. You got the yeah, whole yeah. Weekend. We have the whole weekend. That's right. That's right. And, and I think that Killian's may be on sale in some of your retailers as well. So, mm. you know, okay, take that, a look. That'd be a smart move. Yeah. Where can you find it? Well, srprod.com slash beer finder. Probably a good place to do it. I Bingo. Guess. Get a computer or something. All right. Are we taking a pause right now? Yeah. We got two more. Fine. Fair enough. It's a Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh from SR Parat. Intern Steve from Parts Unknown, Riggs, 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, Daytona's Rock Station, The Morning Hog. It's brew review time, Friday happy hour. Josh S.R. Perot right here with us. I'm applauding yeah. for you, sir. You can applaud for yourself if you want to, but we, we appreciate you bringing us tasty beverages. That happened to be sort of a St. Patty's Day hangover because the hair of the dog. As you exactly. It's the cure, yeah. right? Just creep right back into it. Right. By the way, uh, Steve's beard made entirely of dog hair. Just a fun fact. I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> True story. He glued it on before bike week. It won't just come rolls off. around. It won't come off. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it nuzzles, nuzzles his pup, and that's how it comes out. There you go. Uh, you, but you did bring us some great uh, Irish flavors. Yeah. And we're about to get into something special, I think. All right. So next up, we got... Remember what this one is? Steve, you want to call this one? Isn't that a... Uh, that's a Smith Wicks? Oh, jeez. All right. So... I think you'd get beat uh, if you went to Ireland and uh, said Smithwicks. Wow. Smittix. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Smittix Irish Red Ale. Sorry, Steve. You so why, there's a, one. why is there an H in there? I, I'm not an English professor. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a native tongue, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to say it right. So this is one of the first beers that were my Ooh. was my go-to beer. Okay. Like, if I couldn't figure out what I wanted, I'd go grab a six-pack of this off the shelf. Really? Um it's just an easy Ooh. drinking beer okay, with yeah. a lot of flavor. Uh, you get a little bit of hop hoppiness up front, yeah. sweet malt finish on the back oh, back here. Um, I've never had one of these really until now. Oh, really, oh, yeah. It's a Steve first time. First timer. I like that. Bong. Dang it. Cherry Buster. Okay, it's good though. I tell you though, the, it, it is full flavored. And Absolutely. Not, and not in a heavy way. No, no, yeah. not at all. Yeah. Still easy drinking. Four point five percent alcohol. Um, Smittix is one of the oldest breweries in Ireland. Yeah. I, okay. For a little while, I think the claim was they were the oldest. I don't know if that's been right. disproven at some point, but 1710. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. Ancient. Right? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean that's forever. I mean, how yeah. old's the wheel, for Christ's sake, right? I mean, it's like uh, 100 years, 200 years. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, the Smittix bottle was created before the wheel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You can check into that. Uh, you Google that later, though. Don't hold us to that. Uh, but this is very, uh, again, for such a low ABV, it's got a lot of flavor. You right, know, a, be, 100%. Yeah. Mm. Um, so Smittix was actually purchased by Guinness back in, like, 1965, I believe it was. So yeah. they are big partners with Guinness. That's why you can get it just about everywhere nowadays. You can get it on draft in a lot of places. McKay's Tavern. Yeah. Um, probably over at Fletcher's as well. Right. Uh, I believe he's opening a second, second location. At, really? Yep. Uh, okay. Down there on Ridgewood. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. So keep okay. an eye out for that. Um, and then your local retailers as well. You can uh, taste the uh, flavors of uh, of Ireland uh, in more places now. It's kind of it's a good thing for you. And I know a lot of you probably were tasting that yesterday, and you're thinking, wait a minute, is there more? Of course, there's of course more. more. Yeah. So this one is Guinness Extra Stout. Oh, oh, Stout Plus. Look out. So this one, um, you know, when you get Guinness on draft, it's that darker color, mm-hmm. like we were talking about earlier. 
This is the one that's a little bit more in the uh, the realm of what people are thinking about when they think of Guinness, where it's okay. a little bit uh, fuller, um, fuller flavor, a little bit heavier. Somebody in, in the uh, some brewmaster over at Guinness is probably like, "Oh, you want some? You're gonna get some." So you this get thick, yeah. So this is the closest to the original okay. uh, formula of Guinness you're gonna get. All right, um, look at that thing. That is so it looks like uh, looks like motor oil. <laughs> that's, that's what I always call it. Motor no, oil. when I see motor oil in a glass, I, th- I know it's going to be a good beer. Yeah, that's, right. yeah. That's, that's one of those stamps of approval that mm-hmm. Steve often says that he, he had a hat that said that for a while, too. So, like I said, this is based on their one of their original formulas. Um, oh. First brewed yeah. back in 1821. Mm-hmm. So, they've been doing it a long time. Wow. Now, you know? Wow. Yes. I didn't know they have been around that long. Y-E-S. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so here you're getting a little bit of a thicker mouthfeel, yeah. but you're getting much more of a more pronounced uh, roasted malt flavor yes. on the back, almost chocolate like. Yes, delicious. Okay, I'm feeling it. Now. Very, very bitter, good. but good. Yeah, bitter in the best way possible. Yeah, right? kind of yeah. like dark chocolate. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's a great point. Yep. Yeah, the dark chocolate feel. Steve, do you have mm-hmm. any dark chocolate experiences you'd like to share with us? Real I quick? love dark chocolate, but I have no experiences no. to share. Really? Okay. Just nothing? You didn't Just never make, my love. You never made a s'more with it? I don't like s'mores. Wow, that was really aggressive. <laughs> do you really, not like the marshmallow? Do you not like the graham cracker? Uh, do you not like the... All three. I, so I'm not, not a fan either. I'm not a fan of marshmallows or chocolate. What? I'm right there with you. Neither or one of you? Crackers, no. Really. I, don't I don't like I'm, any oh, of it. So God, I love... It's like a trio of negativity. I, I'm with you 100%. He doesn't Ugh. like him. I'm going to excuse Josh, but I love s'mores. Well, I can't get the marshmallow past my mouth. Yeah, yeah. that's true. See, you got see. Look, yeah, look you at their, too. Look at their faces. <laughs> it's, see? Yeah, it's just you think a marshmallow a has time. a hard time getting in here? No problem. <laughs> come one, come all. Bring it right around. You want to give me a chocolate <laughs> ring around my mouth? I don't care. I got graham cracker in my hair. So be it. The dog will lick it out later. <laughs> ah, this is good stuff. I'm, I'm reliving last night. Yeah, because I had a long, I had a long night. <laughs> yes, but, yeah. Street. Woo! And thank, by the way, thanks to SR Parat for throwing a hell of a party. Oh yeah, that you know that's uh, you guys. I mean, you take over an entire section of downtown Daytona and bring your great beers and you pour them in Steve and I's mouth. You know, it's, it's all great. for a good cause, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. All right, so these beers essentially everywhere, but if anybody oh, yeah. wants to target them, uh, srparat yeah. slash. Beer finder. Do it. You do it. Bingo. Do it. I like that Josh did it. I won the teamwork. You know on what? Cheers to that. We'll yeah. see you next time, bro. <laughs>